Okay, we're back. Now, a lot of you guys that are here are fans of our other show, Ice Loves Coco. Did any of y'all watch that? I know some of you guys are fans of SVU, too, right? But on Ice Loves Coco, we did a lot of things. And uh, at the end of that show, uh, we left you guys hanging on a lot of topics. And one of them was our house. And our, our, our emails get filled up like, did you guys ever finish the house? Did you ever complete the house? Yeah, that's what our house it when, like? it, when it was started. Yeah, that's a picture. When we what, first bought it. That was from Ice Loves Coco. That's how it looked. And people think, you know, reality shows are fake. Well, our show wasn't fake. We kept everything as mm -hmm. close to real as possible. Like, you saw Maximus grown up now. Remember he was a little puppy? <laughs> His big ass is huge right yeah. now, running around. But mm -hmm. we decided, since you guys have followed us and been loyal to us, mm -hmm. we're going to show you what the house looks like now, complete. So we're going to roll tape. <laughs> Segway. Let's go. One of the cool things about this house and the way we design, we kind of mix the feminine vibe with the masculine vibe. First thing you see as soon as you come through the door is this aquarium dead center in the living room. And as you can see, this little guy, his name's Skimbo. Coco but... names the fish. Yeah. So who needs a table like this? This is just a big gadget. And it actually comes with a remote control. So when you hit the button, the table opens back up. Now, you can only have stuff like this if you got a cool wife. OK, this is for your car freaks out there. You got the range, you got the ghost right here. You got Coco's Fisker. So let's go to the coolest part of this whole thing. There's cars underneath. There's another car under that one, and there's another car under that one. Let's send them back down. Bam. What bins? I don't have a bin. It's good for the IRS, too. This is our outdoor area. This is actually the dog's outdoor area. Want to go in the pool? Get it! The whole house is dog friendly. All the furniture is set up so dogs can get on it. We're not stay off the couch type people. The dogs are our family. We got clean dogs though. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go upstairs. One, two, three, four. Ready for the choir? Yes, this is the Coco store. Well, I like to call the Coco store because it, it feels like a store. I wake up in the morning and I go, okay, what am I gonna wear today? Well, let me take a little, you know, gander around the Coco store. Fourth floor, final level. This is our bedroom. I mean, this is the bedroom we call one shade of black. Oh, you heard of 50 shades of gray? This is the one shade of black room. We did it all in black mirrors. When it's dark, the walls just kind of disappear into infinity. Like you're floating. OK, one thing that I need is total blackout. I have an insomnia problem. What we did is we did shades that actually go all the way to the bottom of the floor. And it's starting to get more sexy as we speak. Have you noticed my voice has changed? It's going into a low kind of FM vibe. It just makes you feel like you just want to get real close. We got the bathroom. We got like colored lights in the bathtub. It's I like, call it disco fever tub. Yeah. If you're really feeling freaky, three people can fit in that tub. You got the chance to see it first. This is an exclusive. This is inside our little domain.